Argentina is a country located mostly in the southern half of South America and bordering Chile to the west and south, Bolivia and Paraguay to the north and Brazil and Uruguay to the east. In fact, the Argentina-Chile border is a whopping 6690 kilometers long, making it the world's third longest border. With a total area of 2.78 million square kilometers, Argentina is the 8th largest country worldwide and the 2nd largest country in South America after Brazil. While Mexico is the largest Spanish-speaking country by population, Argentina is the largest Spanish-speaking country by area. Argentina is divided into 23 provinces and the autonomous city of Buenos Aires, which is also Argentina's capital city. Each of these provinces has its own constitution, which means that they enjoy certain sovereignty under a federal system. Argentina is famous for its huge capital Buenos Aires, which is also known as the Paris of South America, for tango for its great steaks and wines, its biodiversity, its diversity in climate and for being the home country of Lionel Messi. But as we will find out soon, Argentina has much more than that to offer. Argentina does not have an official language, but the national language is Spanish. There are also some recognized regional languages of the indigenous populations like Wichi or Toba. Over 96% are of European or Mestizo ethnicity, which means of European and indigenous American descent, and about 2% are native Argentines. As of religion, about 80% are Christian, 19% do not identify with any religion and 1.2% believe in other faiths. Buenos Aires is by far the largest city in Argentina, followed by Cordoba, Rosario and Mendoza. In total, Argentina is home to about 45 million people, which makes it the third most populous country in South America behind Brazil and Colombia. The word Argentina is a reference to the metal silver, however European migrants thought that Argentina is much richer in silver than it actually is. Another mind-blowing fact is that about 62% of the total Argentinian population has full or partial Italian ancestry, which of course also influenced the Argentinian culture. The flag of Argentina shows three horizontal stripes, blue as the sky at the top and the bottom, and white in between. In the center of the flag there is a sun with 16 straight and 16 flamed sun rays. Apparently the politician Manuel Belgrano, the leader of the Argentine revolution against Spain, was inspired to this symbol when he looked at the sky. Therefore the blue color represents the sky and the white color is a symbol of the clouds. According to legend, the flag represents the sky as it was in May 1810 at the liberation demonstration in Buenos Aires. Argentina's flag day is celebrated on June 20th, which is the anniversary of Belgrano's death. In the past, the flag without the sun was used during times of peace, while the flag with the sun was used during wartime. Later, a distinction was made between the flag with the sun used in official instances and the flag for private use without the sun. Today, both versions can be used at will. 90% of Argentina's population have roots from different European countries. Yet national symbols, especially the flag and anthem, play a particularly strong role in Argentina's national identity. No wonder then that Argentina holds the record for the longest flag in the world. Most Argentine provinces also have their own separate flag. One has an aspect ratio of 11 to 17, another one of 5 to 4 and one even has a ratio of an exotic 27 to 40. The national animal is the rusky potter, the national flower is the blossom of the coral tree, which is Argentina's national tree. Argentina even has a national gemstone, which is the rhodochrosite. Wine is the national alcoholic beverage and mate is the national infusion. In Argentina, people pay with the Argentinian peso. The Argentinian economy is the 31st largest worldwide and second largest in South America. It benefits from natural resources and an export-oriented agricultural sector. Even though in the early 20th century, Argentina had one of the 10 highest GDP per capita globally, 
on par with Canada and Australia and surpassing both France and Italy, it recently had some periods of severe recession with its currency declining about 50% in 2018. Argentina is one of the greatest producers of beef, citrus fruits, grapes, honey, soybeans, sunflower seeds, wheat, sugarcane and grapefruits. It also is very rich in aluminium, copper, zinc, silver and gold. About 7 million people visited Argentina in 2018, most of them came from Brazil, Chile, Uruguay and Paraguay. Argentina also has a relatively well developed highway and train infrastructure which contributes to the economic growth of the country. Its largest export partners are Brazil, China and the USA while the largest import partners are the same countries in same order. Later in this video there will be an interview with Azar who runs a YouTube channel about his life in Argentina. Azar moved from India to Argentina, will talk about his journey and will provide useful information to anyone who is interested in moving to Argentina. If you have an idea which country I should cover next, please let me know down in the comments. This video is part of a video series that covers informative facts and the migration procedure of many countries around the globe. I've created dedicated videos for countless countries worldwide. You can find the playlist linked in the description below. But let's return to Argentina, what are the main upsides of moving to Argentina and what needs to be considered. As of the 2019 UN report, Argentina ranks 30th among the countries with the largest foreign born population. About 2.2 million people living in Argentina were not born there but moved to this country during their lifetime. As mentioned previously, the Italians historically are by far the largest migration group followed by the Spanish, Germans and Brits. More recently, the immigration from other South American countries is much higher than from Europe, especially from Paraguay, Bolivia and Chile. But what are the main upsides of moving to Argentina? Let us begin with the diverse Argentinian nature. In the north, the countryside is green and suitable for agriculture and gets drier the further south you go. An interesting fact is that in the south of Chile, the land is fertile and green, while the land on the side of Argentina is dry, but this changes in the north, so the land on the Chilean side is dry, but on the Argentinian side is fertile. The Andes are located to the west of Argentina, and Argentina is also home to the highest mountain outside of Asia, called Aconcagua, with a total height of 6910 meters above sea level. And to the west you will find the South Atlantic Ocean that opens all doors to activities that are related to the sea. Argentina is considered one of the most biodiverse countries worldwide. However, it is not part of the 17 mega diverse countries. Nevertheless, there are 19 different climate zones present in Argentina, ranging from polar tundra to hot deserts, all the way to a temperate summer climate. And this is not surprising since Argentina has a north-south extension of about 3700 kilometers, which is about the distance from Finland to Egypt. Argentina's 35 national parks cover most of these climate zones. As of the pictures, I personally like the Nahuel Huapi National Park as well as the Los Cardones National Park. Since Argentina's climate is so diverse, one can find penguins in Patagonia, pumas in the northwestern part of the country, manned wolves, tapirs and hummingbirds. So you see that the wildlife in Argentina is at least as diverse as its climate. Since Argentina is located in the southern hemisphere, June and July are the coldest months whereas January and February are the warmest months. In Buenos Aires, daily mean temperatures range between 11 degrees Celsius in July up to 25 degrees Celsius in January. But in summer it often gets much warmer. Also, temperatures rarely drop below 0 degrees Celsius in the capital. Let us continue with the Argentinian culture. Argentina is a multicultural country with a significant European influence. Buenos Aires is one of the greatest theater capitals in the world. Teatro Colón is a global landmark for opera and classical performances. Its acoustics is considered among the world's top 5. In Argentina's cuisine, there are not only European influences like pasta, sausages and dessert dishes, 
but also a variety of indigenous dishes like empanadas or locro. Locro and asado even are the national dishes of Argentina. Argentina has the highest consumption of red meat in the world and this is not surprising as Argentinian meat is internationally known for its quality. On average Argentinians consume about 100 kilograms of meat annually, which is equivalent to about 300 grams every single day. But there is something I would like to mention briefly, which is that a friend of mine from Argentina once told me that the meat with the highest quality is consumed within the country, while in general the less high quality meat is exported abroad. Moreover, Argentina is the world's sixth largest wine producer after Italy, France, Spain, the US and Australia and the ninth largest exporter of wine. So wine definitely plays a role in the Argentinian cuisine. As in Uruguay, the mate tea is very popular in Argentina. It is an unsugared, bitter tasting tea which contains caffeine and therefore is a great alternative to coffee. Generally, eating out in Argentina is not that expensive relative to other expenses. One can eat out for as little as 5 to 10 dollars. Speaking of costs, how much does it cost to live in Buenos Aires? If you live off 3000 US dollars a month in Denver, Colorado, you need about 1220 US dollars for the same quality of life in Buenos Aires. This means that the cost of living in Buenos Aires is about 60% less than the cost of living in Denver. And due to the devaluation of the Argentinian peso, life gets cheaper and cheaper. On average, Argentinians earn about 10,000 euros or 12,000 US dollars annually, which makes it rank third in South America after Chile and Uruguay. Speaking of Uruguay, this country is located just a stone's throw from Argentina. Buenos Aires and Montevideo are just about 200 kilometers apart. By traveling with the ferry, one can get to Montevideo in almost two hours, which makes spontaneous trips to Montevideo absolutely possible. And yes, that means that the boat travels around 100 kilometers per hour or about 60 miles an hour, which is very impressive. There also is an option to take the ferry to Colonia de Sacramento, which costs about $50 per person, and then hop onto a bus that gets you to Montevideo. But besides of all these upsides, there are also some drawbacks when it comes to moving to Argentina. A few of them are the economic instability, fluctuation of the Argentinian peso, bad traffic around Buenos Aires and the fact that only a small percentage of the population speaks English, at least on the countryside. These are a few points that you will need to consider. Let us continue with interviewing Ashar. Ashar, when did you move to Argentina and which city did you move to? I moved to Argentina in the year 2019 through my job and I moved to the city of Buenos Aires which is the capital city of Argentina. Why did you choose Argentina? Like I said, I moved to Argentina through my job. I had two options. One was Mexico, the other was Argentina. I preferred Argentina because I have always read that Argentina is like Europe and uh, they call Buenos Aires city as the Paris of South America. That's why I was intrigued about Argentina. Also, I like uh, cold weather rather than hot weather. Being in India, I don't like hot climate. So I thought, uh, let's do Argentina and uh, Mexico is hot like India, I guess. So uh, to be honest, I would say I didn't have any plans or particular reason for choosing Argentina. I just wanted to go with the flow and just give it a try to Argentina. Also, I had few colleagues who were already there in Argentina and they might be of great help to me. So that's why that's the only reason I thought let's go to Argentina. What do you enjoy most about your life in Argentina? I would say I like the people of Argentina because they are friendly, they are welcoming, they like to know about other culture and being from India, it was so interesting to them. They always wanted to know about my culture. I made a lot of friends. Also, Buenos Aires city is a metropolitan city, 
which has a lot of people from other countries from the US from other countries of Europe also the neighboring countries in South America like Peru a lot of people from Venezuela and uh, other countries like Brazil so Buenos Aires is a mix of different cultures different traditions a lot of events happen there the city is lively I would say that Buenos Aires is a city which never sleeps it has good nightlife there are people always out even during the night not just Buenos Aires even the other cities are pretty good during the night time Buenos Aires city is so beautiful that you could just take walks all day long and I made a lot of good friends in Argentina what do you miss most about your life in India I would say I miss the food uh, because uh, we have a lot of exotic food in India and we don't get that here there are not enough uh, Indian restaurants out there in Buenos Aires it's really difficult to get the spices that we have in India here uh, we do cook I, I do cook I do cook Indian food and I don't get the exact spices that I use back in India here so I would say I miss the food, uh, the chai, which is the Indian tea, which is so special and I'm a chai addict. I miss that a lot. Also, I would say that I miss the easy access for things here in Argentina. For example, in India, it's easy to buy anything that you want, be it electronics or a mobile phone. Here, getting a mobile phone is so expensive and my motorbike as well i miss my motorbike my car getting a motorbike here or a car here is really hard it's not safe to park your vehicle outside your house you need a good parking your vehicles may be easily stolen i miss all these kinds of things easy access you need if you want to do any cell phone recharge or you anything related to technology is so hard here whereas in India it's so easy I think I miss the food and easy access to stuff here what advice would you give people who are interested in moving to Argentina I would say if you want to have fun then Argentina is your country you could have a lot of fun do interesting things there are a lot of events going on there are a lot of uh, weather changes every now and then it will be cold suddenly it will be sunny out there and there are different places in Argentina with different climatic conditions for example if you go to the south it's really cold and you could see the end of the world which is Ushuaia uh, fin del mundo uh, which is the southern tip of South America that's the end of the world before Antarctica so there is different climatic conditions and if you got uh, dollars or other foreign currencies or euros maybe you could lead a great life here by doing a lot of interesting things cheaply so all in all if you want to have fun and if you have foreign currency then Argentina is the country for you to go and have the best time of your life also if you guys have any other questions about Argentina you could go to the videos of Argentina on my YouTube channel Azar Sassi and you could comment your questions on the videos I would be glad to help you out and if you want to personally ask any other questions about Argentina you could DM me on my Instagram Azar Sassi I would be really glad to help you out guys okay then thank you so much friends for having me on your YouTube channel again see you keep in touch Thank you Ashar for taking time to join this interview. Please make sure to check out his YouTube channel linked in the description below for more informative videos about his life in Argentina. If you are interested in moving to Argentina, you will for sure enjoy his videos, so go check out his channel. But what needs to be done in order to move to Argentina? Citizens from pretty much all North American, South American, European and some more countries are able to visit Argentina visa-free for a maximum of 90 days. People from other South American countries can visit Argentina just with their personal 
personal ID. This is a great opportunity for you to explore Argentina on your own before deciding to move there. If you are planning to stay longer, you will need to apply for a visa. There are work, student, retirement, investment, medical and many more types of visas that Argentina has to offer. One of the unique features of the Argentinian work permit is the need for a criminal background check both at home and in Argentina, as well as any other countries of residence in the past three years. Since this strongly depends on your personal circumstances, please make sure to check out the link in the description below for more information about Argentina's visa types.